Hello, uh, today I'm going to uh, show you how to create a form within an Access 2010 database. Um, forms offer a user-friendly way for database users to interact with the records within their tables. Um, this user-friendly interaction helps to minimise mistakes when you're either adding, deleting or editing those records. So just to show you a little bit about this database, we have three tables already made. We have uh, the pupils table, uh, which is storing information about pupils within a school. We have the after school clubs table, so this shows the activities which the pupils can book onto for their after school clubs. And we have a booking table which shows uh, the bookings that each student or pupil has made. So for example, pupil 1 has booked rugby here, um, pupil 3 has booked a number of things as well, but has also booked rugby as well as swimming and netball. So these are three tables, uh, mainly set up to show students or pupils who are booking which activities. So if I just close these down, what I'd like to do is have a, a simple form which shows the, sh the pupil that I, I'm interested in working with and also shows the activities that they booked. So if I go to create and create form, this is a very quick way of instantly turning that table into a form. I mentioned user interactivity and ease of user interactivity. Well, because of the layout of the form, clear spacing between fields, it makes it an easy environment to add and edit data uh, and minimize mistakes. Uh, this form is therefore showing us the people, and it's also showing the activities that they've booked. So, just to give you an example of using the form, I have three students or three pupils, so there's there's Bob. If I scroll through using the scroll bars along the bottom here, I've got Harry, who's doing tennis already, um, and I have Sarah, who's doing netball, swimming, rugby. If I want to add another activity to what Sarah's doing, I can go here, and let's say she's also interested in doing football, so I can book her onto football. And if I want to add a new person altogether, again, I can go to the scroll bar. And we can have um, let's have Rebecca. Let's have Rebecca Raspberry. So she's female and she lives in Liverpool and she is interested in booking onto the football club. So in summary, we have three tables here. I particularly turned this table into a form and we have the form here. I did that by going to create uh, first of all, selecting the table, going to Create and Form. This gives us a user-friendly interface where we can add records and edit, edit data very simply and minimise our mistakes.